I know what you're thinking. You enrolled in a computer science degree, and you're worried you made the biggest mistake of your goddamn life. The headlines, they're brutal. A tsunami of layoffs cutting nearly 100,000 jobs in just 2025 so far. Total oversaturation, engineers everywhere, standards through the roof, zero job stability, and now AI is projected to replace 92 million jobs globally by 2030. So with all of that going on, the market crash, the uncertainty, the fear, you're asking yourself, should I even bother with this computer science degree? Or should I rip it up, throw it in the trash, and go flip burgers at McDonald's instead? In this video, I'm gonna break down whether a computer science degree is worth it today, and exactly what I would do if I were starting my CS degree right now to absolutely dominate in this insane market. Let's get into it. Now, before we get into what you need to do in today's market, you need to understand, why is everyone suddenly questioning if a computer science degree is worth it? Now, a CS degree wasn't always a default path. Go back to the late 90s, and there was a massive demand for coders, but barely any supply. If you knew how to code back then, you could literally quit your job, walk across the street, and get hired by a competitor for double your salary. That's how valuable you were. This scarcity forced universities to rapidly spin up more computer science programs, and that created this belief that if you just learned to code, boom, you got a job. And this explosion of CS programs created what I call the computer science industrial complex. Essentially, universities started pumping out computer science majors like a factory. They commoditized this degree itself. But here's the thing, the market has completely inverted now. We went from high demand, low supply, to high supply, low demand. And because of that, this industry has been through absolute turmoil, making people question whether a software engineering career is even stable anymore. And the terrifying evidence is staring us in the face. Over 90,000 tech employees got laid off in 2025 alone, and we're only in October. We're talking about Microsoft cutting over 6,000, Intel cutting thousands, Block laying off 931, the giants. And this follows 153,000 job cuts in 2024. The bleeding hasn't stopped. Number two, the other evidence is AI disruption. Tools like ChatGPT are writing code now, debugging software, creating full stack applications with barely any human help. The World Economic Forum projects that 92 million jobs will be displaced by 2030, and about 130 million new ones will be created. Now sure, that seems like it's a net positive, but here's the catch. Those new jobs are going to be higher skill roles, AI engineers, machine learning specialists. So where does computer science fit into that? It feels like it doesn't. And then we have degree inflation. Over 112,000 people graduated with computer science degrees in the US in 2023. More than double from a decade ago. The computer science major is simply commoditized. Higher supply, lower demand, and competition is absolutely brutal. Computer science unemployment hit 6.1% in 2025, nearly double that of philosophy majors. What this means is simple. You have to put in way more work to land a tech job today compared to someone who just graduated maybe five or 10 years ago. So if the landscape is this brutal, why should you even bother with a computer science degree in the first place? So here's a straight answer. Because while getting hired requires you to master the career acquisition game, the core value of a computer science degree is still rock solid. It's the foundational theory, the rigorous problem solving it forces you to develop. It's actually generally way more demanding than any online course or bootcamp out there. It pushes you to gain deep theoretical understanding of why things actually work, not just how to make them work. But let's be brutally honest and lay out both sides. Let's start with the terrifying negatives you're up against. First off, we have the layoff tsunami. We've already talked about this. 90,000 people laid off in 2025 so far, 153,000 in 2024. The days of landing a job and coasting, those days are over. Next up, we have the AI threat. 92 million jobs displaced by 2030. MIT research shows that AI will replace 2 million manufacturing workers by 2025 alone. That's not some distant future, that's right now. And then we have skyrocketing cost. A four-year degree can easily top $200,000 at certain private schools. We're drowning in over $1.7 trillion of collective student debt. And a lot of that cost? Useless gen ed classes that don't actually increase your starting salary by a single dollar. And then we have high supply, low demand. It's an employer's market right now. Computer science unemployment is at an all-time high. You need significantly more experience just to compete for entry-level roles. Think about that for a second. Entry-level jobs require three years of experience. It's insane. But on the flip side, here's why people are still lining up to major in computer science. The incredible positives that still make it worthwhile. 
Now, first off, we have financial leverage. Computer science remains the highest paying degree by far. The average starting salary for computer science grads in 2025 is around seventy-five dollars to $80,000 per year, which is significantly higher than almost any other degree. Mid-career, you're looking at $120,000 to $150,000 on average. And senior and management positions, we get into $150K, $200,000 a year, even upwards of $300,000 to $400,000 a year at big tech companies. My younger brother, Adil, is proof. He landed a $600,000 job offer in quant research right out of college at age 20. Now, sure, he is an exception, but that just shows you how much financial leverage there is in tech even today. Next up, we have unmatched technical rigor. Boot camps are just too short. You cannot learn that much in four to six months. And the fact that a computer science degree spans you three to four years means that your technical skills through heavy coursework are significantly ahead. Classes like algorithms, operating systems, compilers, those are essential and nearly impossible to replicate through self-study or alternative boot camps. That rigor forces you to build these rock solid fundamentals that the top engineers always emphasize. And next up, we have the internship pipeline. The university system is hands down the best pipeline for landing crucial internships and work experience. Most students land their first job through an internship. Companies actively recruit at colleges through career fairs, which lead to interview opportunities. Self-studiers often miss all of this. And then we have networking. College is the easiest place in your entire life to build out a network and secure referrals. And referrals, they're absolutely necessary to cut through the tens of thousands of applications companies get. Insider knowledge about the industry flows through this network. My conversations with absolute top performers confirm this. Deep technical skill is the bedrock of success. Guys like Sunny Sahu, a friend of mine, who majored in both math and CS at Berkeley and turned down a $500,000 quant offer, Sunny took 13 to 15 graduate level courses and he went way beyond the standard curriculum. So who is a computer science degree actually worth it for? Now that you have all the negatives and all the positives, who should do this degree? Should you throw it in the trash and apply to McDonald's? Look, the answer depends on your ambition and your goals. The computer science degree is absolutely worth it if you want that insanely high starting salary, the potential to get a $150,000, $200,000, $300,000 corporate career. And if you make it to a company like Google or Meta, you actually do have a relatively solid, stable career in terms of getting high paying salaries. If you're committed to using your degree to get deep technical skills, actively seek internships, and grow your network. See, if you choose this path, the key to survival, even with AI rising, is differentiation. You must become more highly skilled and learn new tools. However, the computer science degree is not the best choice if your primary goal is to disrupt and start the next billion dollar company. Why? Because successful founders often drop out and put those years and that tuition money directly into their startup instead. You believe that technical skills alone are enough. While a computer science degree is great for getting those technical skills, if you neglect the job acquisition game, so resume, interviews, networking, even the best technical skills will not lend you a job. Here's the real problem. Even if you've nailed the foundational theory, you've mastered the rigorous thinking that the best computer science programs demand, that's only the input. Those are the raw technical skills and knowledge. Yet most people make a mistake that thinking that their fundamental coding skills are enough. And the output bucket is what actually turns those coding skills into a high paying offer. So if you think that just doing a computer science degree, just your technical skills is enough, you're in for a sore reality. So what actually goes into that output bucket? What do you need to do alongside your computer science degree to become successful in the market of today? You must have an incredible software engineering resume. You must master leak code. You must learn how to build an incredible LinkedIn profile. You need to master coding and behavioral interviews, and you need to get referrals. If you can do all of this, then you have a shot of becoming successful in the world of computer science, even in today's job market. And if you want help to actually implement all of these skills there to put your computer science degree to work and not waste hundreds of thousands of dollars in years of effort not getting a job, check out the Software Engineering Accelerator. It's our premier program where you will work with FANG engineers and recruiters for months and months and months until you land an incredible software engineering job or internship. And the best part is the outcome is guaranteed. If you don't get your goal internship or job, you don't pay a single penny. So check out the top link in the description and apply to join us. And if you want help to actually master lead code in 2025, click this video over here. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.